Yo, what's up, guys? Polly Popo here. Thank you very much for coming back to the channel. Um, the last couple of days, what we've been doing was just listening to the Rupert Neve Portico 2. Um, the first video, I, <laughs> I did it in mono. Like I said, I'm, I'm really new to all this, all this stuff. But it sounds dope either way. But the last video I did was in stereo, and it sounded really dope. I did some uh, Montage 6 presets on there, and they sound... They sound really really great man the board by itself sounds brilliant but when you run it through here with the compressors on um and i did a b comparison on here but what i want to do today is i mean it's just amazing how it brings up the level it you would think that it'd be smashing it just you can bring the level up of the whole song without smashing it yeah it's weird i don't know how to explain it i mean it just sounds good but what i want to do today guys is uh this is a special record for me man um i want to play this record heater and we're going to play it because we did the keyboards and uh, we did the i haven't done the sp through here i did hear the sp after i sample everything and it goes into the mpc and then I put it into the SP, and I bring this to finalize it. Holy shmoly, what a big sound that comes out. I'm going to have to do a video on the SP-1200, like if this was the last stage. But right now I'm using it just to send a hot signal into the mixer. I got all my gains turned down. I had to regain stage everything. I had to, this thing sends it hot. You don't need gain if you're just going to get a clean signal. It does add that when you turn it on it goes like it's so sick dude you can hear i can feel there's heat coming out that bad boy but anyway i want to i want to play this here record and uh just want to listen with you guys and i got a little time off today so i want to do that this is my hanging out this is my going out so i enjoy doing this and uh this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna slap this on here and then we'll do some a b comparisons with the with the Ruby I think that'll be dope. I think it'll be super dope. And that's what we're going to do. Right on. Right on. And if you guys have any, I don't know, man. If you guys, just with this one box, I, you could do so much with it. Just running your sounds through it. I'm telling you, I got into sound design. I got into that modular stuff and learned how to make a drum, a kick, a snare basic piano little things like that it took me away from making music but i wanted to know how to make the sounds that were going into the keyboards that made the music that i loved but it's it's like a science project back here but it's super dope but i love playing the keys i love being able to take all of this stuff i forgot what i was going to go at Eh, we were going to play this record. But, oh yeah, yeah, no, the thing was, is whenever, and then I slowly got into mixing, and then monitoring my mixes, by seeing the levels and everything like that. And I'm like, now I'm starting, this is like a touch of mastering that I'm just dabbling into, and I can see how it could be, a di it's a different world. You have making the sounds, you have making the the music, you know, mixing is a whole nother thing, man. And then just recording at proper levels and everything is super crazy, which I still don't do right. Um, but then that final product that comes through, like I say, I'm running, going straight into here with my boards and stuff and that's what we're going to run this turntable into here just so we could hear this record off of there but when i turn this bad boy on dude it's going to do some some crazy stuff to this is all i'm going to say you know, i can almost tell people just off the bat that if you want your sound to be bigger or louder that you could send me your song i won't mess with it at all i ain't going left or right I ain't going to make it wider, and I ain't going to use the stereo field just to make it louder. Turn up a knob, dude. It doesn't play with none of the song. It doesn't It don't mess with nothing. You just use the gain, and it's just... 
it's insane, guys. So uh, enough of me talking about this. Let's get in here. I really just want to sit down and listen to some music, so I'm going to kill the mic. Uh, I think I said everything that I had to say. But that alone, that alone, and some people say, like, the compressor's like, I've never heard a compressor before. I've never had a real compressor like that. The Nord had a compressor on it for, like, the keyboards, and it was a dynamic thing. I didn't really understand what dynamics and compression and all that stuff was, so that's all new to me. So to me, this shit sounds fire, dude, because I've never experienced compression before like that and how that works. It's just me. But then the parallel side compression, how you can do that with the speakers and move them forwards and backwards. Like, I wish I had more speakers hooked up so I can see how that's actually... Any bigger speakers to be able to hear that shit moving around? I want to hear it go like, whoo. You know what I mean? I want to hear that. Let's get in here. I'm going to... This is hard to get, actually. I'm going to pay like 50 bucks for this bad boy. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to put it in here and we're going to enjoy. Some people were wondering, or you might wonder why I have this and a record player. Well, it's because I like to take the records, any records that I have. I have about 30 of them that I went to local shop and bought these records. And I listen to the whole record. And while I'm listening to it, I record the whole thing in there. And then I can hit cue points at the parts that I like. I'm like, hold up. I'll go back and hit a cue point, And then I can just go back to any of the records that I want, I have my cue points set in a digital thing, and it sounds pretty damn good, but I made a video about playing it off of here, off the Denon DJ. I'm not picking on Denon, I'm just saying that the Denon DJ uh, sounds freaking good, but this sounds better, and that's why I don't, I don't, everything you've heard coming out of the studio has been coming out of this Denon DJ, I'll give you that. Yeah, it comes out of the Denon DJ into that, out of there, into that, no, all over the place. But we're going to play vinyl today. Right on? Here we go. And while we're listening, just, <laughs> it just, because I'm not going to be able to talk during the video, so just listen. Just listen to this stuff, dude. Uh, again, this is off of Drum Library Volume 2. Man, I can't find any of the other ones. But when you take these breaks and you put them into through here and into the, and I'm going to show you, into the MPC Live, it sounds fire. But then when you put them into the uh, freaking MPC, uh, the SP-1200, it's game over. And then you... I switch out my groups and I go back into here with my SP. And shit, man, that's a wrap. It's a wrap after that. And of course, it's all being recorded again. I don't know. Let's get in here and listen to this. Sorry. I'm just excited. That's all. I'm excited because at first I was using this at the end. And then I wanted to use this in the beginning just to pass audio through it without the compressors or nothing active. And it gave it muscle, it gave it power. And I gave it sound and gave it a lot more than without it. And there's four things you get. And it's dope, dude. It's just dope. And yeah, that's what's going on.
I mean, I would say that sounds pretty, pretty damn good by itself like that. But watch now when I pop this bitch in here, watch. Another compressor, stereo compression. And my levels just jump on my MPC up there too, if you watch. And you can hear it, but look. Half. It's a half right now. And again, I got my gain all the way down on my mixer. Just going into here and it's coming in nice. If I didn't have this going into there, I'd have to have that gain turned up like I used to have before I got this box. It was at like 3 o'clock. Listen to this one. Still sounds fire, but... Then I can come in and grab the sample watch. It was four seconds long. And this touch and I got a little bit of head but I could I, I'm down here on groups three and four bro I'm sitting at like negative 20 just to keep this from redlining so it's super dope so watch I'll stop the record and I'll get the same sound out of there hang one second I have to talk to my record player damn it just hang on So it's dope, right? You want to start right there? So, you know, I won't grab every single drum. I'm just going to speed this up. But I'll turn the SP on. Because now I'm getting that hot signal and it sounds pretty damn close. Pretty damn close to what we're supposed to be getting. And the record sounded like that. I'm going to erase this real quick here, guys. This is by far my favorite beast of a box. And the ship takes a lot. to fly it so I appreciate you guys giving me a second here to do this but let's go I didn't have to turn the volume up or nothing I can still crank that up if I need to it might be too loud all I need is that diggy tut to do deed tut watch Sample armed. Got it. I can truncate the rest of that Joker watch. So the way I have this set up is a little weird, but you should be able to hear this. No. Let me turn on my other mixer real quick. Let me kill this mic. So I'm going to need to hook this up. I'm running out of wires.
but yeah, that's how I was recording that stuff. Let's get back in here to this record. When do we start listening to this shit? But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. So any noise that goes into here straight can pass through here with compression, with not. I can put my voice through here or whatever. I like it just clean the way it is and then coming back through. But if you want a real hot, fat sound going in, this is a dope tip. Sound comes in big. Just sounds crazy. <laughs> 